Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Cafe Rio chicken and Cafe Rio cilantro lime rice. Hi, I'm Karen Peterson and you can find me on my blog every day of the week, 365 days of crockpot.com over here on YouTube once a week where I share Instant Pot stuff with you. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a local favorite here in Utah. It's the restaurant Cafe Rio and if you're from Utah of course you know it because it's delicious and it's very popular. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make their cilantro lime rice which goes in their in their burritos and on their salads and then the chicken, the shredded chicken that they um, that they serve there too on their salads and such. And I think you're really going to like these two recipes. So today I'm going to be tripling the recipes because I'm going on a big trip, a family reunion, and we're going to have 30 people there. And so I want to make sure I have enough for everybody. But usually you're only going to uh, make one third the amount that I'm uh, making today. But I'm going to share with you um, in the notes the actual recipes so you know exactly how much to make for the amount of people that you're serving. The first thing you want to do for this rice is turn your Instant Pot to the saute button and wait for it to heat up. Once it says hot, then you can add in butter. Just let that melt. And then we're going to add in onion. And I've diced up the onion. And saute the onion for about four or five minutes until it gets a little soft and translucent. And we're going to add in garlic and just saute it just for 20 seconds or so. Uh, you don't want to let that burn. I'm going to turn off my Instant Pot and then I'm going to add in the rice. Now, <laughs> you can see I put, uh, measured out the chicken bouillon on top of the rice here. So I just like this better than bouillon chicken base. And um, I use that in the place of broth a lot of times. So I'll just use this and a little bit of water to go with it. So today I'm going to be using this kind of rice. Now it's not minna rice, it's um, parboiled rice, converted rice. And that doesn't mean that it's been partially boiled or anything like that. It still needs the full amount of time to cook. What it just means is that it's processed differently. I like this kind of rice because it doesn't stick together as much as um, regular rice does. For this recipe, that's what I like to use. You can also just use regular long grain white rice um, if you prefer. It'll be a little stickier though. So I'm gonna add in the rice and the bouillon. And then I'm gonna add in the water. Adding in the water. I'm just gonna kind of stir it a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in three of these cans of diced green chilies. Add in some kosher salt and some cumin, some lime juice. So this is how I do my lime juice. So I use my egg bite molds and then I get a big bag of limes at the store and then I juice them into these. And they're about a quarter cup each. So then I know each of these little ice cubes of lime juice is about one fourth cup of lime juice. And so then I just use it in recipes and it comes in very handy. So I'm just gonna throw one of those in. Then add in one bunch of chopped cilantro and you're ready to cook. We'll put the lid on. Now this is my big eight quart because I'm making so much. And you can still see I'm making all that rice and it's not over the max fill line. So we are totally fine. I'm gonna put the lid on, make sure valve is set to ceiling, and then I'm gonna set my manual or the pressure cook button, depending on your version of Instant Pot. I'm gonna set it to, for this, I'm only gonna put it to three minutes. Um, usually I do five, but because this is such a big pot of rice, it's gonna take a long time to come to pressure and it's gonna be cooking that whole entire time. So I'm gonna put it down to three minutes instead of the five, which I normally do. All right, the rice is ready to go. It's been in the pot for the three minute pressure cooking time and now it's counted up to 11 minutes, meaning this has been done for 11 minutes and we're just letting it natural pressure release. So we're gonna remove the valve to venting to remove any remaining pressure. Here's our cilantro rice. I'm just stirring in the cilantro that all kind of came to the top, but it looks really good. And this tastes good uh, in the salads or with the chicken or however you wanna serve it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the Cafe Rio chicken. So for this recipe, I like to use a combination of chicken breasts and chicken thighs, and these are all boneless, skinless. So I'm making a ton, like I said. For the amount of chicken I'm cooking, I'm using two different Instant Pots. Usually, for normal people, they wouldn't be making this much, uh, so you'd only need one Instant Pot. So into each pot, I'm going to put a cup of just 
zesty Italian salad dressing. I just use the store brand. Use whatever you have or like. So put half in there and then half in this other pot. I'm gonna use a bunch of spices here. Garlic powder, chili powder, and then some cumin and some kosher salt. Now chicken puts off a lot of liquid, so I'm not too worried about the pots coming to pressure. If you're nervous about it, you can always add in a half cup, a cup of broth, and it should be just fine. So we're gonna put the lids on. Now I have the chicken breasts in this one and chicken thighs in this one, but they are gonna cook for about the same amount of time. Make sure the valves are set to sealing, and then we're gonna set these. And I'm gonna put this one for, it's not frozen, it's fresh chicken, so I'm only gonna do 12 minutes. And then on this one, I'll do, uh, I don't know, maybe 13, 14, 15 minutes. They'll both turn out really great. Let's see. So we'll do, I'll do 14 for the chicken thighs. And then we're gonna definitely do a natural pressure release with this chicken so that it can stay moist and tender. What I did with the chicken was let it do a full natural pressure release. And then I just removed the lid and look, here we have our delicious chicken, which you can easily uh, shred with forks or you can even use your hand mixer. I know a lot of people like doing that. Um, and then you can serve it over your Cafe Rio salads, that rice that you made. And I'm gonna include in the notes my dressing recipe, which is the tomatillo ranch dressing. And it is so good you could drink it. Oh, make sure to look in the notes for that. And then I'll also include my Cafe Rio black beans recipe in there. I hope you enjoy these Cafe Rio favorites and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.